hosting Boston this afternoon in their third meeting this season. So let's meet your starting goaltenders. And for Boston, it'll be Aaron Frankel coming up a third star nomination this year at PWHL with her back-to-back -back wins. And at the other side, Elaine Chuli here today getting the start. She saw Boston last time these two teams met. Stopping 26 of 27 saves. She's 4-0 so far here in the PWHL. Your referees and lines persons here today. Grace Barlow, Amy Martin, Juan Duchenne, and Stephanie Gagnon from Pittsville, Quebec. Here today will be an exciting matchup. This will see Montreal's top line going to work here. Poulet, Dow, and Laura Stacy. Stephanie takes this opening draw for Boston. Kraken moves it ahead early. Jaws will send it deep into the zone. As Boston hit a rough patch early in February, but are on a two-game win streak right now as Rattray's now behind the goal line. Tries to feed it out to the point. Speaking of Susanna Tapney earlier today, she said she's enjoyed working alongside Jamie Lee Rattray this season. We'll have more on her and her story later in her first intermission. Uh, she wins that opening face-off. She's 54% while playing with Boston. Rattray taps back looking for Keller. Great point production for her so far. Ten points as Boulay has it at the top of the circle. She'll step in on the line. Tries to feed it in front, and Stacy driving. Lenny Cheval will pick it up on the far board, scooped up by Keller, who tries for the centering pass. And back out to center. Daou, Catherine Daou will go D to D. Who's up for Lenny Cheval? Lenny Cheval, lane drags her shot block. Cindy Morin blocking the lane, two assists for Morin so far this year. Mueller going to send it down, trying to feed Lauren Gable. It's going to be a foot race. Icing is going to be waved off. Truly will come out to play the puck. Lauren now engaging in this board battle. When you saw her with that block shot, but Venetia really with a, that sort of pull and drag, just trying to disguise the shot and get that puck to the net. It's a nice read by Morin. Two goals for Venetia so far this year. One coming on the power play, which is. Eight assists time for lead league right now alongside Carpenter Mueller and Panic. Boston as Hillary Knight tries to feed it ahead. And two goals, two assists for her so far. Taven looks to the stretch pass, trying to find Anne Sophie Bate. That's a nice play by Cook, just really riding off Bate into the boards there for that long bomb pass. Just wants to shut down speed in the neutral zone. Shirley going to work. 2-1 on folding for Boston. Shirley can't get the shot off. Sarah Bujo with the back check. Riverview, New Brunswick made of a clean back check. Disrupts that play. Now Montreal headed back the other way. Marie Murphy has the team. Murphy holds off to the pass for a driving stop by Boston. An excellent stop by Abby Cook. Oh, that's a really nice slide by Abby Cook. You never want to slide yourself outside of the inner hash marks. And she does a real nice job of just taking away the pass. And she would have forced that shot high because of that slide in that space. They're coming over in the tapping deal to Boston in exchange for Sophie Jakes, who picked up her first goal against Boston. Last time these two teams met each other just the other day, Boston took it 2 nothing. You see how tightly Erin Ambrose just played Jamie Lee Rattray as she was slashing across. Nice job by her to just stay in that one-on-one -on -one battle. Tapani fakes the pass. Pops her a downward play to Rattray. She'll look to scoop it up. Keppel battling hard. Yeah, Keppel. Look at her first point here in the PWHL. It's Rattray picks up control. She'll turn back looking for the centering pass. No one's home. One pass back to Keller. She'll chip it down low. The four. Trying to find some room. She'll pin Keller up against the boards. Out Susanna Tapney to pick it up. Montreal getting stuck on a change. Tapney picks it up for Rattray. Her shot blocked. Following up the play is Lane Chuli. Throws down the glove. Well, Courtney Castle spoke to us pre-game and she said, listen, we've got a two-game winning streak. She's like, I'm not calling it a streak yet because it's just two games, but really like the addition of Sophie Shirley back into her lineup and said, no, I didn't want to disrupt too much, so that's why I've got her on the third line. And Corey Chevriel, obviously liking where her team's at. She's talked to us in particular about her D, who we thought at the beginning of the year might have been a little bit lean. And she said, listen, I've just been so impressed with how far they've come. Talked about a few in particular, one of them being Mariah Keppel. Princeton Gadwood put up 52 points in her time there, now playing professionally here in Montreal. Hannah Brandt looks to find some room. Pass out in front, Keller de-escalates the situation. Body in front, back to the point. Keppel looking for Taven, a 
top of the blue line. On this handle, tries to chip it down low. Picked up by Melody Dao. She'll pass it to Taven, who walks in. Back to Dao. The slaughter shot high. Rebound chance. And she'll finish. The captain cashes in in the first period. And Marie Philippe Poulet opens the scoring. Hey. You know, it's funny, we're up here in the booth and I'm talking to the producer, I'm saying, this is Dao, look at the four check below the goal line, look at her come draw two, and then just a four foot dish, but she gets back available in that slot area to take that shot, Poulain knows that she's gonna shoot it front, and if you give Poulain a second shot opportunity, she's gonna bury it. But this all starts from below the goal line, and Dao recognizes that help up high, so she comes to high ice, draws two to her, to be able to bump the puck, she gets it back, and Poulain goes right to the net for her seventh goal of the season. How about both time, Riffin and Pula. who else? <laughs> Opening the scoring here in Verdun Auditorium. Well, and you have to have the IQ to be able to play with players like Marie Philippe Poulain, who is not afraid to drive the net. You know, it's interesting though, Kenz, one of the things about Daya Dao is her IQ. On display here early as Montreal looking to bury this home, looking for the wraparound play. Frankel drops the paddle. First shot by Daou, followed up with Poulet in and around the net. As Alina Mueller looks head back the other way, she'll flip it deep in Montreal zone. Well, it's nice to see Posnikov back in the lineup after warm-up. We weren't sure whether she was going to be in this game. Yeah, she took a challenging fall just right at center during warm-up. was helped off the ice, so great to see her making her debut here. Is an early chance, Hillary Knight. Both captains causing havoc in the crease as Boston's looking for the equalizer. Well, Posnikov playing in her first game, and it's a, an unfortunate mishap in the warm-up, and everyone was worried that she wasn't going to be able to play in this game because she did go down the tunnel. We were watching her for a period of time with their trainer. You can just see that lower body just talking about it. And then she labors off of the ice. She did not return to warm-up, but nice to see her that she's been inserted back, as you see conversation happening with the GM, Danielle Sauvageau. But she is back, she is ready, and that's a solid shift for her. From Edmonton, Alberta, the 26-year-old former U Sports Player of the Year spent some time at the University of Alberta under Howie Draper, head coach of New York. Gigi <laughs> Marvin settle in down low. Pass out in front, Boston creating havoc down low. Now chance out, Gerard looking for a play. Well, and you'll notice that a lot of play by Boston is below the goal line. Gerard looking to send it deep into the far zone. And a Pelkey. Spoiled the homecoming, the home opener, I should say, for Montreal back on January 13th. She got that OT winner. Um, Addy Cook just elects to put that in. And, you know, you have to make sure that you have someone who's going to hound the puck because if you're in a line change and you put it in, you're just going to allow your opponent to get out. Gete looking to chip and chase as Marty Murphy goes for a chain out. Boston, Therese Chauzo with the play, trying to chip around Keppel. She'll follow up the play. Laura Stacy on a quick back check. Hitting her up against the boards. Now Tapney in control. And then Tapney turns around. Keppel picks it up. Poulain's going to drop down for support. Head coach Gordon Chevry going back to her top line here. There's a play out in front. de as Laura Stacy picks it up. Well, that's Jamie Ligratre who's trying to get her stick on that. You know that's where she's going to be from below the goal line and she's going to get to the front of the net. Apple high shot, loose in front, Keller first on it. Apple keeping it in again, Raya Keppel keeping this deep in the zone, Stacy looking to be first on it. She'll get tied up and behind the net. Now back out in front. But you see Melody Dao take a shoulder check left and right before she picks up that puck. So she scans the ice so she knows where everyone is on it. She'll find the open ice. Can you chip this puck out as Bazal steps in on the back check because here comes Dark Angelo with speed. And Dark Angelo feeds it around and insists for her so far in the PWHL. It's a collision just in front. Well, Dark Angelo was a captain of the Toronto Six last year and Isabel Cup champion. She's a lot of character leadership in her play. Lots of familiarity with Julie at the other end here for Montreal. Branch gets pinned up against the boards. Dubois trying to. Find some space, O'Neal will flip it to center. Now on the far side, Dubois tries to drive. O'Neal, the shot, can't get it off. Hannah Brandt strong on the back check, it's still loose. Now clear to the corner for Boston. Montreal, a lot of chances in around Frankel's crease so far in this first period. And a lot of jump to that line with O'Neal on it as well. You see Dubois using her frame to shield the puck, but a real nice back check 
by Brandt to just get the stick of O'Neill, who had gotten the puck and the drop from Dubois. Montreal leading 1-0 by Philippe Poulet. And a lone goal so far. Miller trying to find Hillary Knight. Knight will hold. Pass to Center, giving some time for Dijon Alamo to jump up. Gable stopped by Chuli. Now Montreal back on the attack. The fourth. I'm going to send it deep into the zone. Catherine Dau will pull it back. She'll go D to D. Well, and that's a nice play, right? Instead of dumping it in it when everyone has just retreated, so their toes are going towards their net and giving up possession. You wait, you regroup, and you attack with purpose. Dau, one of a force of Montreal's top defenders. Look at Keppel push up ice there. Ken's just reading the play perfectly that she had back pressure by Dau to seal that wall. Kraken trying to use the wall to her advantage. Now to the hands of Stacy. Smiling hard. Kaylee Fracken from Burnaby, BC. She'll pin Stacy down low, and the play will continue. And Stacy in disbelief. Now Dau down low. Stolen away by Gerard, who looks to the centering pass. Pouet the other way. Gets it out wide for Melody Dau. Dau holds Stacy in the slot, trying to let the shot go. That's just a beautiful play by Poulin to keep that puck on side and just to be able to corral it. But it's her edge work that allows her to get to the middle of the ice, hold it to be a threat. Pita will go for the change. In PWHPA in the last few years, we saw our team Scotia Bank. The last time we saw on the international stage, the Beijing Olympics. Of course, the 2021 Worlds where Phil the Spoon was coined and they <laughs> put up a whopping 27 points. Bill the Spoon, Natalie Spooner's lighting the lamp in Toronto with Toronto, and of course Sarah Fillier at Princeton. Toronto Ottawa playing it today, Battle of Ontario. That game going on simultaneously now is Marie Murphy. Looks to kick it out for Bate. Lum walks down, tries for the shot in front. O'Neill for, for a piece of it as Rattray gets the final touch. Frankel plays it out. Bate pressuring Keller. She'll feed it up high, looking for Rattray. Albazal. She'll head net front as Tristan O'Neill looks for the pass. Trying to keep this in the zone, Taylor Gerrard. Sort of shorthanded goal. These two teams have on January 13th for Montreal's home opener. Stolen away, Rattre. She'll wait for support. She'll feed it deep into the zone and go for a change. Well, that was a nice little pause by her. She recognizes she was isolated, but she could see that Tapani was coming down that weak side wall, so she elected to, to just kind of change the point of attack and rim it far side. Montreal's 9 of 13 games this season have been decided by just one goal. Both the meetings between these two teams are needed overtime this year, so it's going to be close. Well, you're seeing that this Boston team really wants to try and dictate pace by putting the puck in a lot of dump-ins. Tapani, she'll send it deep and go for a change. Now Montreal doing the same. They'll flip that to center. Kellen will recover. We give her a pass for Fratkin. She'll send it up high. Knight, cross-ice play. She saw Mueller streaming, but she'll blow a tire, and Keller will find the quick pass. Mueller sips over the line. Gable loads her shot. Julie will make the stop. Now Knight out in front trying to finish this play off. But now into the hands of Montreal. Stacy through traffic. Needs it deep into Montreal's zone. She'll go for a change. Well, Tavian was looking to join the rush there as well. But pulled back between the dots. Nice idea. Now she's in real nice position to defend on Knight, as you see right there. Knight, who called Montreal home for just over a year back with the Canadien, playing for them in 2018-2019 season. Hard to believe her and Poulin were teammates. Were teammates. <laughs> Pretty awesome to see. Now with speed, Amanda Pelkey driving the lane. Pelkey pulls it out wide, backhand shot. Julie will make the stop. Well, you can see that Pelkey gained speed underneath the puck, and when you have the speed underneath it, you are flying, and she was doing just that, and that cut back into the ice to be able to get a shot on. Pass gets rimmed around. Lapore looking for the centering pass. Catherine Dau will rim it up the far side as Emily Brown tries to keep it in. Well, so much of the game right now is that far side hard, hard rim and just trying to get a stick on it, chip it out, and try and fight for that space in the neutral zone. Sort of a, a quick counter. A long stretch with no whistle so far. Shot 10 5 in favor of Boston in this opening period. Brown from Blaine, Minnesota, looks to go D to D. Cindy Morin will pick it up. She'll find Shirley. Tap past the center, leads to a turnover. Marie Murphy taken down in the process. 
Nice gap there by Keppel again. She's done that a few times to this afternoon so far, Kenzie. Just you have to have good gap, and it's all in your transition skating, and that includes going forward. Stretch pass, and Sophie Bitte will be offside, so we'll get a whistle. A busy first period. Most Cups player in the world, Marie Philippe Poulet, getting her seventh on the season. We've already seen her be a difference maker so far this season as PWHL. As we take a look at her resume, big moment. She has already had a hat trick against New York. She scored the game winning goal late in the third period against New York on the 16th. That tying goal, just 18 seconds left for her second of the night against Toronto. And then how about the game winning assist on Laura Stacey's game winning goal last time these two teams saw each other against Boston. That's just MPP doing MPP thing. Well, and she just recognizes where she is on the ice. So it's not just her one-timer or it's not her quick release snapshot. It's going hard to the net. It could be a redirect. It could be what you just saw where she recognizes, listen, there's going to be a rebound off this. So I've got to get to an area where I think that puck is going to come to. And that's why she is so gifted. I mean, she's elite in every aspect of the game. But what makes her different, what separates her from the rest is that brain just finding the areas to get to and not being afraid to get there. Laura Stacey and Ambrose were the only two players that have scored against Boston coming into this game. Each picking up two, but now Pula has opened the scoring as she has control now. Feeds it back to the point for Aaron Ambrose. Feeds his team with time on ice. Ambrose is going to step down. She'll shot. Aaron Frankel will play it in behind. Ambrose following up the play. Tappity is going to feed it to Frankel, who will put the glove down. Well, in when the... You're working off the puck, you want to get to quiet areas off of the puck. And just look at this, it all comes on the hunt and you, you can just see right here, Dagu picks it up. Look where Poulin comes to in and around the dot. She recognizes she's going to need support. Then she comes into that high ice. Now all of a sudden there's a shot, now she's diving down towards the net. Again, just having that IQ to know exactly where everyone is and to support it. Off the face off! Poulin's shot just high! We've seen many set face off so far here in the PWHL this season in Montreal. Looking to make their second of the night here with a chance in the offensive zone faceoff. Stacey, top of the circle. Looks to feed it down low, trying to outwork Bracken. Faceoff, another strength of Poulin's game, of course, this year, dominating the faceoff dot here for her team. Keller, chased by Stacey. Matre is going to feed it down. Just under 55%, a stretch from Venetia Trying to get the shot to go for the wraparound. It lands with just the final moment. Ishva dynamic board as well here. We've seen her play alongside Poulet and Maureen Murphy. This trio we had coach Corey Chevry knows works, but we're going to also get a few other looks here in the depth of their lineup this season. That's a smart play by Dayu. She just recognizes, listen, I'm at the blue line here. I have no help. I'm just going to put it to a space on the other side of the ice and see if my forwards can win the foot race. And Ishva three points in her last two games. Of course, power play marker. That's 6 3 meeting against Ottawa. Now Dubois at center going one on three. Dubois pulls it out. Steer to the corner, Di Girolamo. Oh, that, that's a hard battle, too, Ken. That's a one on one. It's solid. It's a nice steer by Di Girolamo as Dubois Woo! is fighting for the space easy! and Di Girolamo is cutting it off. Di Girolamo played 22 Woo! minutes last time she Woo! saw Boston. Ryan minutes for Boston's defenders that night. It's that puck is rimmed up high. Pelkey tries to play it in the hands of Lum. She'll go D to D. Montreal's going to go for a change. Joe's going to pressure this puck. Murphy back at center. She'll pull it into safety for the far side pass. Vite. Deep it in the zone. Mueller looking to pick it up on the far side. She'll top that pass back. But Marie Murphy steals it away. Murphy out in front off the post. We have an injury on the play. Girolamo, slow to get up here for Boston. Well, nothing beats watching your favorite team live. Get tickets to PWHL games to catch all the action. Visit the PWHL.com forward slash tickets to secure your seats today. And another packed rink here this afternoon in Verdun Auditorium. Uh, an uncomfortable situation for Di Girolamo and just playing the, the puck. And it's up against Murphy. You can just see the knee on knee as she's going forward trying to get that puck. And Deidre Alamo will go down. Looks like she's still on the bench, though, but she was laboring to get up, and it certainly looked like it was a lower body as she had a tough time getting up. And now she's on the bench, and you can see that looks to be in the game. Get a little squirt of water, getting ready <laughs> back to go here. Strong hockey in Syracuse. Stacey looking for the wraparound play. 
these athletes played at college, right, Ken? Mm -hmm. And she was back in 21-22, CHI's best defender. And in the conversation with the national team, we've seen her in a few rivalry yeah. series games as well, with potentially no Claire Thompson of the upcoming world in Utica. Interesting to see what happens. Four Team Canada's back end. Go! Oh. Reads it for Poulet, streams in with speed, off tap, and he skate. Keller. And Franken communicating as Tapani looks for the centering pass, thrown away by Poulet. She'll flip it ahead for Melody Dao at the top of the circles. Pass it back to Taven. Off the backboards, out in front. Now Kristen O'Neill streams in with speed. Her shot lands, Frankel will make the stop. Well, and you know, you really have to make sure that you have a strong F3 positioning, especially when that puck turns over. And the reason that Montreal sustained possession is because of the rates of position. Look at Poulin, come right back through the middle of the ice hard. That's your quiver. And she's working hard defensively to make sure she's back in position. Now, all of a sudden, as a result of that positioning, Montreal maintains possession and gets a real nice scoring opportunity. Oh, Taven Shaw for the point as well, just using the backboards, creating another opportunity for her forwards in deep. Sets something up as Taven finds Venetia Van Mueller. Steps in front of that play. Catherine Nau. Send it deep in the zone. Dubois first on it. Quickly go for her so far this year. Venetia Van working hard with Dubois. Emily Brown now engaging in this battle as Hillary Knight. Tries for the play, Venetia Van. Taken down again by Mueller. Lena Mueller from the watchful line. Now Lauren Gable the other way. All alone. Gable tucks it in. A high shot. Oh, I thought she had the shot a, a little bit earlier. I think she slowed down. She was waiting for some help. I think she might have had the lane, but Taven does a nice job of just steering and forcing that shot high. Lauren Gable opening the scoring against Ottawa back on February 21st. Long shot. Peeks through Frankel and rolls into the corner. It's all of a sudden deep in the zone. Well, there's some been some mishandles right now, as well as some, some rebounds. Montreal needs to pounce on that. Girolamo feeds it ahead. Scrubs pass for Taylor Girard. Offside will be the call, so we'll head to center. Where you have to be the fleetest of foot when you got a brain like her and you got a set of hands and the eyes to scan the ice and know where everyone is. So it's been a welcome addition to see her back in the fold here for Montreal. 32 year old running a 10 day SPA. Third player for Montreal and practicing with the group and on her own as well. Yeah. Yeah. First game here against Boston. Well, and Corey Chevry was saying, uh, you know, a minimum of three times a week as well. So I'm also interested to see if where she lands on their power play, which is only operating at 9.8%. The day looking for the centering pass. She'll connect now with speed. Marie Murphy on the far side. Murphy shot just wide. Oh, she was shooting for a rebound there because the Tay was coming down that weak side on her strong side, if you will, because she's a left-handed shot. So she was looking for that bank off the pad. Ray Murphy wearing number 15. We've seen that who wear that number for so many years. Looking 25 here at PWHL Montreal for Melanie Dow. Ray Murphy playing against her line mate from Northeastern in Alina Mueller. Always fun to see those two go head to head. As Ambrose takes a look up ice, we'll send that to center. Sydney Morin looking for Brown. He's puck in front, Tapani in control. She'll find the centering pass looking for Bratre. I say Dao looks fresh with her feet. I mean, she's moving. Ambrose got caught up in the corner now. It appears to be shaken up. She's going to head to the bench. Keep her eyes on Ambrose now as Poulin looks at the stretch play, looking for Dao center. Grafton just sent a deep look into Montreal zone. And it's awfully tough to defend Dao and Poulin when they're on the ice together because you can be aware of one, but to be aware of two, it's difficult. Now 2-1 on Poulin for Montreal. Poulin checked away by Alina Mueller. Two stars for their respective international, for their respective national teams. Final minute to go here in period number one. Puna, your long goal scorer, Zubak. Finds Keller, Kristen O'Neill, driving down with speed. Now in the hands of Mueller. She'll look up ice, trying to find Gable. Catherine Daou will jump up. Now a battle in front of Boston's bench, Gable. Quick pass to Knight, feeds it ahead for Mueller. 
They're weighing her options. She goes one on three, gets tripped up. That's going to be a penalty. So Montreal to the penalty kill and Boston to the power play is going to be two minutes or less for tripping. Well, you know that Alina Mueller has got a nice set of hands as well, but she was coming into the zone and she was looking to slow up because she recognized the numbers weren't in her favor. And when she was doing that, she thought, oh, I'll try and go one-on-one -on -one here. So she's stalling, she's waiting, and she goes under the tee and back. So through the middle and out, you can just see the right leg of Dao get out on her. That's going to get her the tripping call, sending Boston to their power play. Off of power play, been a bit of a struggle in recently. Sitting fifth right now in the league, just two power play goals to show for it. Their last is on January 24th. A lot of high-end talent here with the Boston group. They'll take this offensive zone face-off to the right of Julie Tappany is going to take the draw. She'll get picked out, so Shirley's communicating. We'll see who takes it. Knight's going to step down. Right-handed shot. Taking this draw. Is it back in the open space, but Stacy's just going to feed it all the way down. Well, and that's the tough part about when you're the center on the ice, getting kicked out, and a righty having come into that left side. Tappany over the blue line, sends it deep to the zone. Shirley's going to be first on it. Tries to tuck it in around Chuli. He gets pulled back into space. Mueller feeds it back to the point for Keller. Play goal for Keller so far this year on the season. Back in the first game for Boston. Keller to Shirley. She'll walk in back for Tappany. Load high shot. Gets blocked by Ambrose. That will do it. Well, you see the veteran Aaron Ambrose getting in the shooting lane on the PK. And earlier, just a few earlier shifts, she had fallen down. It looked like she was struggling to get to the bench. But for a veteran leader like her on the back end, she gets right back up and Puts her body in the way of that puck. Montreal coming off their first win here inside the Verdun Auditorium. And they are carrying on that momentum here this afternoon. Marif. Welcome back, Melody. And what an exciting game this must be for you. In front of your son, Mateo, can you kind of just walk me through what your emotions have been so far here today? Yeah, it's great. It's great to be back here. It's great to be on the ice in front of our fans. And obviously having Matteo with me here is uh, very special. Um, taking the time to, to see him in between periods and stuff, it's been very special for me. Well, I think a lot of hockey fans are enjoying watching you play alongside Marie-Philippe Poulain. Laura Stacy, two players you know so well. Just how fun has it been working alongside them here this afternoon? Yeah, it's great. It's two players that I've been playing uh, for many years now. And I guess who and I has that little chemistry that it's easy. I know where she is. We need to go get the puck for her in the corners and just find her high in the slots. And I think that says a little bit about her first goal. Appreciate it, Melody. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Boston starting off this second period on the power play is Catherine Dao, who sits for two alas for tripping. And so uh, Montreal's penalty kills. And they get about fourth right now in the standing. Sultan, the lone goal with a shorthanded goal, but she is not in the lineup here. Day to day right now. And Ambrose back here as she took that block shot, but was laboring in that Rattray hit. Now Sophie Shirley kicks it out wide for Elena Mueller, who will slow up his. She'll cut to center, taps it back for Shirley. Keller along the blue line. She'll settle the puck. Feeds it to the far side for Sophie Shirley. Shot in front. Hillary Knight looking for the rebound, but stolen away by Stacy. Been an element that's been struggling for Boston, her power play. That's something Courtney Kessel talked about getting Sophie Shirley back, and you can just see that as they walk in that 1 3 1 set. She was moving as a righty to be able to get that puck sort of downhill towards the net. Tappany with speed streams down the left side. She'll feed it around to Hillary Knight. Taps it further for Shirley. She'll pull it up high, spins back, trying to outwork Poulin. Now, Mueller. Backer. Megan Keller, Tappany, back for Keller, tries to go one timer. Mueller finishes the job. Lane Chuli will make the save. Well, and Boston with some nice movement here, and it wasn't static at all. And you saw some switches. You see Sophie Shirley coming towards the net, and that puck comes as it comes to the flank back up high. You're trying to draw to one side of the ice so that you can set up as Mueller rotated to get to her one timer side, just didn't get all of it. it wasn't right in the wheelhouse, a fluttering puck that Chuli is able to hold on to. Mueller and Keller are the only two players that have scored on the power play for Boston. And I like the switches there, right? Because as, as a peak air, and that's what I was, you know, when it's unpredictable, you're not sure where they're going to be. And so often, you just move a little more than you want, and you open up the lane, as was the fact in that last sequence. Under 10 seconds to go on Boston's power play. Three is a shazzle. 
Working hard along the boards, passes it to Raptray. Back to the point, more and to the far side. Gable lets it go, her shot just wide. She's got Huge a shot. Ooh, she's she got a shot, doesn't she, Kent? Back to five on five, three on two on Pollingford. Montreal. Austin able to land one shot on that power play. Arvin looking for the struck pass. Now for Montreal with the lead, 1 0 here this afternoon. And in the Battle of Ontario, Toronto's leading 4 1 against Ottawa. Ambrose with some room. She'll use the glass to chip that puck out to center. And that last sequence by Kristen O'Neill fighting for body position is exactly what I was talking about in the intermission. Just how she works hard on pucks and just positions her body, even though a smaller frame, but tries to get herself into those positions and draws penalties for it. Shiva, quick pass to Ambrose. She'll take a look. Trying to feed Kristen O'Neill. Now up to center. A chance Mueller steers it away. Now back on the attack. Knight steps over the blue line. Hillary Knight driving wide. Lands a shot. Just missing. It rolls around to the near side. Lena Mueller looks to pick it up. Brown pulls it back. Blaine, Minnesota. Two assists for her so far in the year. Needs it ahead for Gable. Now Sydney Moore and steps over. Toast saved by Chuli. Out to center for Mueller. Pass. Morin out in front. Ambrose drops the knee and doesn't let that pass get much further. Gable now in control. Also looking for some chances. Well, she was looking at Morin and elected to shoot the puck. She also had a brand net front. So Gable trying to be deceptive with her eyes. Devin now in behind the net. The Dolanville native looking to pick this puck up. Back to the point. Bazal. Gets settled as Katie Tatum looks for that net front pass. Brandt's going to flip that deep into Montreal zone. Julie will play it to the corner. Catherine Daou first on it. Up for Jill Dempsey. Connects at center. Before catching Boston as David lets the shot go. Be the scariest fear, Cheryl, is a defender catching an edge when your last man back. Oh, that's always tough anytime you catch an edge, and then all of a sudden now you're giving an opportunity to your opponent, and Montreal's unable to convert on it, but they do have an offensive zone face off, so no better time to bring out your top line. Boulay will take the draw here for Montreal. She'll win it back to Stacy, top of the circles. High shot, Frankel makes a quick save. Puck pops out in front. Dark Andrew looks to head back the other way. Uh, look at the track back by Poulin, just racing to, to make sure that she's tracking back with a purpose. So just the habits within the game and how about her habits in the dawn, just setting up a face-off sequence, knowing that Stacey is right behind her. Poulin in the dawn. Back forward, Stacey just picks up that puck as a righty and just rips it. You can see Daou going to the net. Keller boxes her out, making sure she doesn't get a stick on it. Frankel gets the glove on it, just... On the face off, she scores! Welcome back, Dao! A 2 nothing lead for Montreal! A storybook moment for Melanie Dao, her first game with PWH on Montreal, and she cashes in off the face off to well, take the lead. Well, we just saw a face off with Stacey lining up right behind her, but it was on the right side of the ice. On the left side of the ice, Poulin can ugly what she's doing here. And you can see that who's on the backhand there, but Erin Frankel has to be squared to the best shooter in the world, and that's going to be Poulin on the forward. Look at this. And she passes it over and puts it in the empty net, and Dao gives a little point to one of her besties and says, there it is. And that's going to be her first goal of the season. Pretty unbelievable. And you can just see that the IQ and the chemistry that the three of them really, alongside Stacy as well, they just have together. But quite a dynamic duo with Poulin and Dao. An icing on the cake for Melanie Dao. First game, first goal, a play from Marie-Philippe Poulin. Austin looking to respond. Pelkey sending it down low, giving some room for Gerard. Out in front, Pelkey lands a shot. As Keppel plays it to the corner. Well, when you're going forward on a draw as well, you got to read where your opponent is. And if there's an opening there, and Poulin reads it perfectly and knows that Daou's going to the net. 
Lin Lao, a whole assist for her in this game. It's interesting that Dao is not a right-handed shot, right? She is a lefty, so she knew that she just had to get a stick on that puck. It's a beautiful play. Now Gable on the stretch pass. Looking for a lane. She'll turn back. Finds Hillary Knight supporting the puck. Sends it in front. Catherine Dao will just feed it to the board. She's your Alamo. Looks to finish the play. Gable cuts back. Outnumbered down low. Mueller steps in for help. She'll feed it to the point. Deidre Alamo will have to pull it back to center. That's nice to see Deidre Alamo picking up speed there after that knee on knee contact with Murphy earlier. Now really building momentum. Pulls it to the far side. Venetia Bell pick up loose puck. Mueller just kicks it to herself. Taven looking to pin her up against the board. Catherine Daou. Well, Taven's had a solid game. Just even on, on the D, just getting to the middle. Here's a Venetia trying to split the D. She had no call on that. I'm surprised that that wasn't an interference call. She had that puck on her stick. Venetia will try again. Now on the far side, flicks it in, now taken down, and that's going to draw a penalty. So to the power play for Montreal, their first tier of the game. Got four power play goals so far this season. Going to get fourth in the league. Aaron Ambrose will pull it back. And the question we have, Cheryl, will we see Melody Daou on this top unit? As of right now, no. As Poulet streams through. She'll turn back, centering pass, connects with Venetia out further, trying to tuck it home. Dubois follows up the play. Well, Venetia who drew the penalty, almost gets one as she comes back to the strong side post. And again, just see Poulin as she stops up, draws two, and then just sees Venetia coming through the middle of the ice. It's that wide stance as she's trying to get that cut back. Aaron Frankel holds the post as she's just trying to see if she can squeeze it through. Nice play by Poulin, though, to find her. This power play brought to you by a Royal Tiger Towel. Power through tough messes. It's Montreal looks to set up shop. Ambrose feeds the far side for Poulin. Back for Aaron Ambrose. She'll walk. Shot off the stick in front, so that'll hit the netting. We'll get another. She'll pull him back. Ambrose, quick pass for Stacey. Quick change for Montreal. Or Stacey. Out wide, Taven. Hold, she'll find Ambrose. Ambrose will take the walk, far pass with Poulin, top of the circles, lets it go! Ankle will play it to the corner. Taven, back for Ambrose. Off the backboards, allows Laura Stacy to skate into it, but she's pressured by Keller, and Boston will send it down. Just under 30 seconds remaining, so the next unit will come out here. I expect that we will see a, a little bit of Dawu, and there she is. Make some time here on Montreal's second power play unit. Under 15 seconds to go in Montreal's power play. Taven steps over the blue line. Matei will have to retreat. And for Lee Alum, she'll look at the red line and feed it deep into the zone. That will do it. We'll return to five on five. Out comes Abby Cook. She'll head to the bench. Montreal landing two shots on that power play. Matei, Taven. Trying to find that centering pass. Now picked up by Boston. Dark Angelo. Her pass to center leads to a turnover. But Dejan Alamo. Jumps on it quickly. Out of the hands of Montreal. Looking for that cross ice pass again to Bate. And the skates to Deidre Alamo. Well, Deidre Alamo gave it away on one side of the ice. Finds her way all the way to the other side of the ice to sort of correct that miscue and retrieve Pop. Keppel's long shot hits the backboards. Ambrose will jump down and engage in the play. Dempsey, give me some time here. Ambrose trying to let that shot go. The puck stuck at the feet. And that's a really nice play done by Di Girolamo. She had a player below the goal line and she saw that high slot player, so she knew she couldn't go. So she had almost had a diagonal two on one and she gets her stick in the lane. All right, Keppel, first back for Montreal. She'll use the boards looking for a David as it'll flip. Taylor Knight coming into this game with 40 shots on net. Leading the way for her team. Stephanie is going to take the draw. Back to the points anymore and drops down. Morin looking for Mueller down low. Steven stuck in this battle. Morin comes out with it. Looks to start the cycle. Mueller. Fights off. Pressure now tied up. Steven looking for control. Hillary Knight steps in for help. Now that's a big body to move. Knight using her size to her advantage. Tavney down low for Mueller. Hillary Knight will pick it up on the far side. Out in front hitting Cooley's pad. I don't mind that 
shot, actually. You know, uh, Hillary Knight just trying to fool Truly, maybe try and get in and behind her, maybe it squeaks in. Daphne, through traffic. Oh, chucked away. Now Taven takes a look. Looking ahead, Keller takes down Venetiava. They're looking for the stretch play. Well, Ven Venetiava likes the middle of the ice, doesn't she, Kens? And Megan Keller, who is a big body and a solid defender, just takes that ice. Ten points so far for Venetiava this season. Keller. Going to feed this puck out of her own end as the battle continues in front of Montreal's bench. Gerard, 2-1 on unfolding for Boston. Gerard holds. She has control looking for Dow along the boards. Where the chip play, Keller reads it. Well, that's a set play because Stacey's got speed. The two top lines going head to head. Tapping shot just long. Rolls back for Keller. Keller is going to pass it off to Frack and she'll hold that shot again just tied. Mueller now picking it up on the near side. She'll send it in front of the hands of Ambrose, who looks to use the glass to chip it out. Now look at Poulin go on Fratkin here. She's she's on the hunt. Temple, cut up at center, getting a chance for Boston. Chazo, he's a Chazo, lets it go. Julie taken down on the save, and Montreal is going to stand up for their goaltender. I'll tell you, Peugeot came off the bench and she got on her horse because she recognized that it was going to be a two-on-one. But Chavzal getting right up on Julia. You see this? Just as a turnover and Kemble just has that puck taken away and Chavzal skates on and she's got her head up. She gets the dodge. She's got sliding Ambrose, so she has to put the puck up a little bit high and that's what you do as a defender is once you go down, you recognize you got to go up a little bit and that's right in to the pads of Elaine Julie and then a little bit of a, a melee ensues there as Montreal doesn't want anyone around Julie. From Waterford, Ontario, Elaine Julie. Austin's gonna send it deep into the zone, but it'll be Will hold on. She'll look down low, Poulin, give and go. Game of inches and just missing Stacey's stick, so Montreal will have to reset. Um, Stacey probably could have shot that puck as a righty right away. Even on the goal from Ellie Daewoo, you know, when you, you go to forward set, it's surprising that the right-handed shot wasn't on the inside for that pass. Now Montreal down low, Stacey tripped up on the play, looking to finish it, but Frankel sends the battle out. Austin still out shooting Montreal, 19-15. Feeds it along the board, deep into Montreal's end, and Julie will come out to play it. Uh, and that's all Dempsey there with that steer in the neutral zone and forcing that play to get dumped in. Marvin, working hard down low, coming off a goal against Minnesota on the 25th. Is that shot just high? Warren, back down over Gerard. Going to feed it in behind. Now some time for Bazal. She takes a look. And step in. Now Boston heading back the other way. Anna Pelkey drops the shoulder. She'll go the length of the ice, reversing it. Kyle Taylor Gerard. Pelkey skating it. I really noticed her tonight. Just moving her feet, getting to nice pockets. Sarah Lafour takes a look, sends it on net. Montreal now at center, Aaron Frank. Waiting for this puck to come down, and she'll play it ahead. Keller. Drops it in behind, looking for Hillary Knight. Now back in the hands of Keller. He's it ahead, Mueller now with speed. Mueller one on two, chips it out wide for Hillary Knight. She'll spin back. Mueller now down low. Poulin, first on it. Now what are you Getting momentum, feeds it outside for Daou. Tries to flip it to center, but caught up in Kraken. Apple looking for the reverse pass into the hands of Lena Mueller. All alone, a two on one for Boston. Hillary Knight holds, she scores! Well, Hillary Knight does. Hillary Knight thinks that it's going to come over on a turnover. You do the behind the back, and Mueller's going to get the takeaway. And you can see that ease that it's going to layer to approach as a trailer, and she gives it to her. Look at those eyes up. But then she's still available right there, so she forces Ambrose to go down. But Hillary Knight 
the right-handed shot. She says, I'm going low here. Eyes up all the way. She's looking off. She's looking like she's going to pass back to Mueller as an option. So Mueller being an option for Hillary Knight. You know, deceives Julie a little bit. Hillary Knight buries it. Anytime she's around the goal, there is deception. And a, a beautiful shot. And that's taking advantage of an unforced turnover. We talk about clutchness, and Hillary Knight is just that. Cedar score an team winner back on January 27th against Minnesota. And here she is now, the own goal for Boston. They climb this back into this for her group. Well, and, a, and a slow start to the season for her, right? But when you, when you see the words Hillary Knight, you know that it's a matter of time where she's really going to find her rhythm. Synonymous with goal scoring, Hillary Knight. And she has done just that here this afternoon in Montreal. Now starts play. Montreal looking to respond. Vite got up in traffic. Ralmo. Give her the first play now. Montreal in control. Julie will come out to play the puck. She'll reverse it to the far side. Ambrose will pick it up. Cook spins back, looking for Rattray. Montreal with numbers now, just inside Boston's blue line. Before David, going to chip it down. Ambrose will jump up in the play. To hit the ref, so the puck will float back to Boston's blue line now. Kavisa Johnson trying to find Gable, but it'll be offside. Far side win, glove down. Keppel will keep it in. She'll feed it down low. It'll trickle in behind the net. Stacey looks to be first on it. And three to go here in period number two. Boston coming alive just moments ago with Hillary Knights. And your goal here this afternoon. You noticed that that Keller Fratkin pair is out against that top line as well. Especially with that ozone face off. Tapping. It's steered to the corner. Puna will pick it up. Sends it on net. Blocker save by Frankel. Now Tapping. So heads for Mueller. Caught up by Dalu Stick. Now Stacy had the chance for Montreal. Where is Stacy driving in? Melanie Dalu so close. Net front for her second of the night. Now battling hard down low. That gets Megan Keller. Change for Montreal. Alex Bosnikov getting some time here for Montreal. This is the 13th forward. And a smart change by Dao as well as she's actually coming over to the F3 in support and she just glides her way into the bench to get that change with possession. Happy pinning Bosnikov up against the boards. Below watches on. That puck pops out in the hands of Alina Mueller. She'll spin back. Mueller, not liking what she sees. So She'll look to head up another angle. Now Mueller, she has Tapani. Mueller streaming down the near side. Cuts back top of the circles, looking for the pass. Gordon Gable sneaking her way down the far end. And that's a nice tip by Posnikov, the forward who's very aware of the back door there. Kristen O'Neill now. Under a minute and a half to go, O'Neill. Winning her options, looking for Marie Murphy, who's driving the net. O'Neill picks it up, another wraparound attempt. Getting a body in front. Now Boston, here comes Janie Lee Rattray. Rattray on the right side, spins back. Brown shot, that gets blocked by Ambrose. The puck's loose. Brown trying to pull it out, but she gets tripped up in the process. End to end action, and Dubois looking for a run. That'll hit the stick as we enter the final minute here in period number two. O'Neill's going to flip that down deep into Boston's zone. Geralimo looking to beat Montreal as Dubois looks for the centering pass and floats back to Ambrose. Battling the clock, Poulet taking a look, feeding Ambrose. He'll pull it back to center, back for Poulet. What time to save by Frankel! My goodness, Aaron Frankel standing that pad just in time as Marie Philippe Poulet was looking for her second of the night. is going to use the glass to chip that puck out and a much needed change now for Montreal. Patre is going to send it deep in the zone. Gable, long shot. Hitting the outside of the netting. Stacy's going to hold on to this puck and will get the buzzer. Well, we are in for quite a third period here in a 2-1 game. Go figure here. Welcome back inside Verdun Auditorium. A 2-1 game so far here this afternoon. And it's Boston getting on the board. And it was Hillary Knight for her third at the PWHL. 
Times, Hillary Knight joins me now. Hillary, I mean, just for you, your ability to rise up when your team needs you most. What is it about that ability that lets your play do the talking? Um, I just love playing with, with the girls. Um, you know, teams are so special. As you get older, you realize how rare it is to perform at this level, and it's just so much fun. So it's, uh, I think, just, just the get-go of getting out there and having fun just keeps you going. One more period to go. You're only down by one. So what do you want to see from your group here in the first few shifts to start the third? Uh, attention to details. I think uh, the first period we got a little bit away from us at different times, but really weaving together a full 20 minutes on the next period. I appreciate it. Best of luck the rest of the Thank way. Thank you. Boston climbing their way back and heard from Hillary Knight in that second intermission. Just wanted to pay extra attention to details to start off this period as Ambrose pulls it back at the point. Her shot just wide. Keppel following it up with the play. Mueller looking to be first on along the boards. Mueller now spins off trying to feed Knight on the stretch pass. She'll hold it at the blue line. Far side for Susanna Tapani. Tapani now pulls back. Out the hands of Stacy. Or Stacey gets pushed up against the boards by De Alamo. Well, and that's just a perfect angle by De Alamo because Stacey had full speed coming down that left boards. And you know that she loves to come in off that off wing and cut to her forehand. Rattray steals the parking. The ball for City by Thule. Now Sophie Shirley. A one on two in the corner. Feeds it back to the point. Brown takes a look. Shirley hauls it out with a play down low for Gable. Lauren Gable takes a look. All those for her so far on the season. There's no needle now. We can head back the other way. A three on two unfolding for Montreal. Vinishava streaming down the left side. Drops the shoulder. Vinishava in front. Trying for the backhand shot. Trickles in behind the net instead. Now pops back out. So away by Gable. Now a two on two for Boston. Rattray joining in on the play. Shirley out wide. Big stick in front by Leah Lum. That's another nice play by her on Shirley as well. Torn over for Brand and a Brand through traffic. Her shot just high. She's a strong one on one play. We knew it was going to be physical. Brand now looking for the pass out in front for Abby Cook. Looking hard down low. Dark Angelo tied up by O'Neill. Now Brandt feeds it to the point. Sydney Morton loads shot. Julie makes a stop. Austin with some chances here in Montreal's offensive zone. Morin back. Save again by Julie. Morton again following it up, a tough angle. Boston just firing everything on Elaine Chuli. Well, we knew that this was going to be a high event period, and it starts with an opportunity by have that net drive. Look at her stance, looking to get it, but Venetia Vaz says, no, I'm going to take it to the net, and tries to bear down. And then on the other side, look at this by Brand positioning, take away and hit the other side of the ice more and for a quick shot on net. Chuli Titasso and is able to hold on. Face off to the left to Chuli. Hockney taking the draw here for Boston. Up down in front, Keppel. Now with speed, Maria Keppel. Cuts back, Marvin. Can't get by Poulin. Very few Poulin on four. She'll spin back. Finds Keppel for the supporting play. Keppel's high shot just over the net. Rolls to the far side for Poulin. Ambrose is going to keep this in. She'll let the shot go, and she scores! Aaron Ambrose restoring the two-goal lead for Montreal. tell you, when you enter a zone, you have to know your numbers. And again, just nice stick by Poulin. She's one on four. She's not going to go one on four. She's going to delay. Draw everyone to one side of the ice. Give it to Keppel. Keppel's going to have a miscue here on the fire. And guess who retrieves the puck? It's going to be Poulin with inside positioning to be able to allow Ambrose to get that puck as a righty. And look at this positioning by Poulin. Ambrose will have a lane to the net because she's got her player on the boards. And Nice low shot for her for her third goal of the season, but... Hook shot off the face mask of Kristen O'Neill. Colliding with Rattray, the two really pushing each other here, but Rattray's gonna get called for it. On the retaliation play. And so Montreal is going to head to the power play now. Julie to the bench, so six on five with a blade penalty on the way.
Taven's going to step in over the line. She'll rip it around to the far side for Marine Murphy. She'll leave it. That's one more. Catherine Dailu finds Taven. Katie Taven looking back door. Sarah Bujo looking to make a play. But Jamie Lee Rattray will head to the penalty box. Roughing is going to be the call. Actual. Details to play's game. Remarkable. She works it in. Hello with Stacey. Pulls back to the point. Ambrose will keep it in. And a minute gone on Montreal's power play as Poulet on top of the circles. Back for Ambrose. Aaron Ambrose loads. Her shot just wide. This is that low shot. That's how she just scored moments ago. Her third on the season. And a couple also picking up an assist for her first point of the PWHL. Ambrose now at center. Poulet calling for it. Ambrose is going to hold. Back for Poulet. Far side for Nishava. Back for Poulet. Stacey now down low. She'll take a look. Power play goal for Stacey already. It hits a few bodies, but Deja Alamo to the rescue. She'll clear it away, and Poulet's going to go for a change. Out comes Maureen Murphy. Manisha to Murphy. Top of the circles, Murphy kicks it wide for Ambrose. She'll take a look. Extra pass as Chi Chi Marvin gets a stick on it. Well, when it works, sometimes you can do it too often, right? And sometimes you have to just take that shot, but a pretty effective power play in terms of their movement for Montreal. Amy Taven along the blue line, final seconds of Montreal power play. Tries to the shot, that'll hit Deja Alamo. So back to five on five, Rattray on the stretch play. Jamie Lee Rattray fresh out of the box, she'll spin back. Wow. Montreal able to land three shots on net on that power play. It's goal and two assists so far for Poulet in this game for her third three point night so far this season, but we still got a lot more hockey to go. Uh, last game they played three assists in that one as well, right? So five apples so far in their last two games. Philippe Poulet doing MPP things as Venetia straight off the face off now looking to come back the other way. Stolen away by Mueller. Boston back on the attack. Susanna Tapani pushed off by O'Neill. Ambrose will scoop it up. Calling for it's Venetia She'll pull back to the near side boards. It's cracking. That's up her momentum. Well, interesting that Mueller, Tapani, and Knight are together right now. Just trying to change things up here a little bit. Courtney Kessel trying to generate some offense. Kraken taking a look. Pass back for a nice give and go with Mueller. The four is fresh out on the ice. Leads this to a board battle in front of Montreal's bench. Kraken's going to pull it back. Only assist for her so far this season. Deidre Alamo is going to flip it deep into the zone as Boston will go for a change, but Abel sending it deep into the zone. Julie's going to come out and play the pot, but Rattray picks it up quickly. Now to Deidre Alamo. Trying to outwork. Melanie Daou, now Rattray to center. Gable back in control. Dralmo will send it deep into the zone. Shirley now taking a look, finding Gable down low. Boston keeping it now out in front, trying to find Rattray. Dralmo is going to let it go again. And Sophie Shirley looks for the wraparound play. It's a scramble in front as Bo Montreal clears it away. Well, Rattray, Gable, and Shirley in this third period as well. And we spoke to Kessel before the game. She was on that third line, Shirley. Deja Alamo, what a shift for her, end to end. It's interesting, Courtney Kessel talked about the fact that Shirley was in that third world spot, much because they didn't want to disrupt any of the chemistry on that two game winning streak. They're trying to find some offense here, just putting some of the lines in the blender. Austin undefeated on the road, try to keep that streak going. Lam, below the goal line, taking a look, trying to find a ball along the boards. Chazel now engaging this board battle. Give him some time for Bate to scoop this out. Warren taking a look. Nice job by Giselle just to, to seal the wall by Derek Angelo up in that neutral zone, and that forces the play in. And now their puck's gone 200 feet the other way. The Boston is out shooting Montreal up to this point in the game. Now Montreal, a few extra on net. 28 so far in this game. Now a centering pass, long shot. Haley Fracken lets it go from the top of the circles. Fracken taking a look. She'll beat it for Knight. Did a 2-1 game lead in the second period for Boston. As Mueller chips it to center. Oh, that's a great play by Mueller. She had pressure right away by Ambrose. 
he was able to, to just corral the puck, turn her body, and just softly put it into the offensive zone. Aaron Ambrose waiting for the fresh line mates now as Boston looking to take advantage. Well, you see Vigero almost step up in the neutral zone again. Dao all alone, one on two. She'll cut back. Dao waiting for support. Finds Poulet. She'll kick it further for Taven. Katie Taven walking down, lets it go. Franco will hold on. Now off the faceoff, streaming through and trying to get in behind Dao. Oh, that's the speed that Tapani brings as well because she can net drive. So you saw her going down the middle of the ice and you have Mueller sort of the glue on the line, just creating the space to make the plays. Stacey looking for the wraparound play, pops out in front. Mueller's going to play it. Montreal now in control. Taven goes D to D. Outside shot, Stacey will recover. Now again on the wraparound, looking on the other end. Well, we've seen her have success in class. Bell with the wraparound against Ottawa a few weeks ago, or a Stacey, and trying to do that here tonight in Verdun. Very nice, battling hard down low. Gerard looking for support with numbers. Gerard will get pinned up against the board. That gives some room for Montreal. David kicks it outside for a four. Chip to the far side. Out in front, looking for a play off the mask of Frankel. Pops out in front in the slot area. Abby high, Abby high. Slum. Richmond, BC, sends it deep in a Boston zone. That was a smart, smart player and just a smooth skater. You saw her active and nearly got her stick on that puck. On the rebound for a goal. Boston will go for a quick change. Out comes Hannah Brand and Sabisa the Shavzil. A four. And he chip that by as Brandt loses her stick in the process. Shazel cuts back. Now Brandt, one further to Fracken. Let's it go, and a toe save by Chuli. Now Brandt to the point. Keller winds. Her shot gets blocked. Fracken, a mishandle. Marie Murphy now alone. Murphy stops up, waits for help. She'll send it deep in the zone. Kristen O'Neill out with speed. Keppel. Kicks his puck ahead, looking for O'Neal. Back at the around to the far side. Nishima pinned up against the board. Sarkangelo tries to float it out, but Ambrose keeps it in. Her low shot, looking for a tip in front. That gets cleared away. Sarkangelo looking for Hannah Brandt at center. Brandt all alone. It's a deep in a Montreal zone. Is that a nice one-on-one -on -one by Aaron Ambrose? Very nice. Not in on that play, rather Brandt, and she loses her six, so has to go and get a change right away. Venishova. That's caught now as Ratre takes a look. Shot just wide. Ambrose takes a body and allows Lane Chuli to have full view. Well, that's a long shift for Aaron Ambrose. Uh, I think she wanted a change, but she was forced to stay in the play. And again, just taking a hit earlier, because this is on Brand. She's trying to play the body and fight for a position here. And she gets inside one hand and stick, just puts it up the boards. And as she's falling, just gets a, a, a little bit of the glove in the mug, what shall we call it? <laughs> and so, there you yeah, there's, here's your equipment. <laughs> she's had a strong game, Hannah Brand. Goals and assists for Hannah Brand so far on the season. Tapani kicks this ahead. Now Poulain looking to be DiGeralamo wide. Icing waved off as Bate jumps in. Mueller now with some room. Feeds it to center. Ellie Brown has a lane. Far side pass, Tapani with speed, top of the dots, looks for a play in front. Off the stick of Katie Taven. Montreal's third line going to work here, under six to go in this third period, a two goal lead. Saren Ambrose's goal early in this period. And you see Dow's positioning here number four for Montreal too, just aware of the wall. Sidney Warren shot hits the body in front, Dijeralamo figures 
it out, and she's just been everywhere for Boston, offensively, defensively. I mean, closing her gaps and jumping up in plays. Yeah, she's been excellent. I mean, she's been very noticeable in this game. She's strong one-on-one. -on -one. Keller kicks it out wide for Gable. Let's it go. Shoulder saved by Julie. Just a quick release of Lauren Gable's shot is remarkable. That was the reason why she went to Patty Kazmaier back in <laughs> 2019. I mean, she's got a blistering shot. Ratre lets it go as Chuli plays it up high. Welcome back. It's time now to take a look at our play of the game brought to you by Athletic Brewing Company. And we got to give it to Melody Dow. Well, she's going to get the goal right there. It's a pretty unbelievable play from Poulin on who's on her strong side. So she pushes it forward and Dao, who's a lefty, is not on her onside, but she's able to bury it. And Mateo, her son, is pretty happy mm -hmm. that her mama scored and also created the first goal, no question about it. The first you know, meaningful game here, first professional game. She played last year with Team Scotiabank and the PWHPA over the last few years. And getting a 10-day SPA here with Montreal. Great to see you go back in the hockey world. It's Tappany. Let's it go. Her shot just wide. Gets it back to the point for Keller. She lets Ooh. it go into a few skates as Capital plays it to the boards. Chevrolet going back to her top line here. With Boulin, Dao, and Laura Stacey. So they battle hard along the boards. Very nice. Right in the middle. Trying to pull this puck out. Stacey hovering in support. And Keppel as well out there with Ambrose. Keppel's had a solid game. You know, yeah, one miscue, that's what it is, but she's had a solid game otherwise. Oh, Stacey catches free. Challenged by Frankel as Stacey draws the penalty as well. Holding will be the call as Laura Stacy just a fighter out here late in the third period. Well, yeah, and in the dying minutes of the third period, you have a two-goal lead. You want to keep your feet moving. That's exactly what she does. She keeps her feet moving, pushes it to the inside of the ice. She sees that puck and she says, I'm going to try and keep my feet moving. Shield and try and get to it first, but Aaron Frankel does. But Tapani, who's on the outside of her and thinks that she's going to get to get a stick in the way of her and kind of holds on and speeds that progress. And so she's going to get that holding call. Montreal back to the power play. Over two so far in this game after having three straight games with the power play goal. Dijeralmo <laughs> looking to feed this to the far side. The alum takes a look. Takes it out for Marie Murphy. She'll spin back. Murphy running out of room is. Getting pressure by Gerard. Grant leaves it in behind. Gerard trying to get that shot off. Stole away by Dow. She'll feed it for Murphy. Now over the line, Marie Murphy leads it for Dow. She'll circle back. Lum, Katie Taven now top of the circles. Back for Leah Lum. She'll walk in. Down the far side, back for Taven at center. Murphy calls for it. She'll take a look. Murphy's going to hold. Quick pass for Taven. She'll weigh her options. So trying to out work Hannah Brandt. Now down low, out in front, looking for a play, but hey! I had Dao net front, and she gets taken down, and Pate just not backing down from Deidre Alamo. Well, Corey Chevry electing to start with her second unit. You notice that Poulin is not on the ice, but the quarterback is not Ambrose either. It's going to be David, and it's going to be a steal here by Melody Dao to get the puck going the other way. And again, she, she takes the one side of the ice with a little bit of a stall to heat. And again, you see this play down low. And look at her who's available across crease, but she gets taken down by Gerard. Basically, having some fun out there. <laughs> I kind of yeah. think this one's so exciting, you know, hearing from her, she's really is just enjoying this moment. As Ambrose finds Poulet. Stick in front, glove down by Stacey. Under 45 seconds to go on Montreal's power play. Rolls back deep into Montreal's zone. It's a foot race. The reason why that Poulin plays that left side onside on this set is because Aaron Ambrose is the quarterback. And as a right-handed shot, it's much easier to put that puck to the left. Poulin just going to go end to end here. She sets up shop. Passes it back for Ambrose. She'll walk to middle. Back for Poulin. With room. Poulin lets it go. High shot off the shoulder of Dubois. Back for Ambrose. Poulin will try again. She'll take a look. Loads. Stacey out in front. Dubois trying to tuck it home. It's back for 
Venetia. Try to keep it in. She keep this play going as Tappy joins in back to five on five. Montreal landing two shots on that power play. Under two and a half to go in this third period. Montreal with the two goal lead. And puck comes back to center. Catherine Daou pulls it back. I'll send it deep into the zone. Oh, and she comes out because Daou, number 25, Daou, the <laughs> forward recognizes, listen, we don't want me as the defender on the ice with a two goal lead, so I'll get to the bench as quick as possible. Even a big collision. Oh! now for Boston. Poulin to the niche of us. Ambrose trying to keep it in and now stole away. Gerard with speed. Leaves it for Brandt. Two of the half tail break goals for Boston going to work. Brandt now spins back through traffic. Working hard down low as Ambrose pins her up against the boards. Trying to find a pass at center. Dubois steals it away. Uh, and if you're Montreal, you may, if you get set up in zone, you may want to work the puck low because you can see how they're flying up top. They're going to be very aggressive. You've got a two-goal lead. You don't want any turnovers up high. Power play brought to you by Royal Tiger Towel. Power through tough messes. Montreal's going to close out this game on the power play. It's for now, but you never know what can happen. The jailbreak rule. Frankel will come out to play the puck. Trying to find Keller as we enter the final minutes of this third period game. Keller looking to bring life as she feeds Mueller. Now with speed, Alina Mueller lets the shot go. Toast saved by Thule in the final minutes. Poulin does chip it to center. I would have put that puck in my oh. head. <laughs> the speed in which it was coming at her, yeah. Quick decision making for Poulin, but that's what she does best. Smart decisions under pressure. Keller. Gets it ahead. Spoznikov getting some time here late in this game as Marie Murphy sends it deep into the zone. Bate first on it, try to feed it out in front. It'll hit the back of the netting of Frankel's crease as Pozikov tries to pull it out. One more push for Boston. Lums is not today. Murray Murphy, 10 seconds to go. High shots. Aaron Frankel with the glove save. You can see that Boston was pressing up high on the power play. When that puck's gonna turn over quick through the neutral zone, it's gonna be Murphy that gets on it, and she's on her offside, does an inside leg. That's a nice shot, she's going high glove, and that's a nice save by Erin Frankel. Flashing the leather. <laughs> Those are, and I gotta say, I love her pass. Yeah, it's true. Pretty cool. Face off to the right of Frankel. Lum, dying seconds, her shot, they made, rebound chance in front, trying to pull it out. As this period comes to a close, the buzzer will sound, and Montreal now back to back wins here in Verdun Auditorium will take the win 3-0.